What's up, everybody? Uh, Corn Kid here. What's going on? It's Friday. It's 5.52 at night. My cat's going, where the hell are you going? What are you doing? You have all this stuff here. What's all this tech stuff that I don't know what it is? Help us get down. On the couch you go. All right, so uh, a lot of things dropped uh, the, this week, actually. Um, in comic books, uh, it was Comic Book Wednesday. Um, yeah. So yeah, Comic Book Wednesday, we had, um, what was it? Oh, Batman and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles crossover. Selling out like hotcakes, really, really hot on the market, you know, none of this, none of us expected this, you know, this, um, we were expecting it as it was announced, but this the crossover, it's so weird. Uh, IDW Comics and uh, DC Comics coming together to bring Batman into the world of the Ninja Turtles to fight Shredder. Awesome, awesome, awesome concept. Um, so yeah, I picked that up. Uh, I just got, I, I was lucky enough to get it. Um, by the time I got off of work, uh, my comic store that I usually go to is sold out. And, um, so I went to another comic store, which was right down the street from my work. Um, well, it was around the bend, but yeah. Uh, they had two copies left. They were awesome enough to hold uh, a copy for me, so I picked that up. Um, and was it? T yeah, it was uh, Wednesday. I'm sorry. Yeah, Wednesday is when it came out. And then also on Wednesday, we had the new... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles trailer that coincided with the the release, I, I think. Um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, it's going to be called um, Out of the Shadows, which is actually a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles video game, I think on PS2? I think it was PS2 or Play, um, PlayStation. Duh, PlayStation, stupid. Um, I think it was PS2. Or Xbox, one of those. But yeah, uh, Out of the Shadows um, uh, is going to be the new Ninja Turtles uh, movie. Um, I went to see the first one with uh, my buddy Sean. He paid for the ticket because my rule of thumb is if it looks god-awful and with all the news and stuff, I'm not going to pay to go see it. I did that with Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, glad I didn't pay for it. Um, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, 1, 24, 2013, 2014. No, it was 2013? I think it was either 2013 or 2014. Um, yeah, he paid for that because I wasn't really sure. I didn't want to... Let me fix this here. There we go. Okay. Um, now it's just me. Sorry. Um... Yeah, so my buddy Sean paid for those. Um, I treated him to dinner. You know, I paid for dinner. Um, so that, that's the kind of deal we make with each other. <laughs> it, it rarely happens, though. But, yeah, um, I wasn't too sure with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one, so he paid for it. Um, I ended up liking it. I liked the first movie, um, even though it was a complete ripoff of uh, Amazing Spider-Man. But, um, yeah. You know, it was, it was, it was, when the turtles were on screen, it was like nostalgia all over again. You guys, nostalgia all over again. It was really cool. Um, this trailer, it's by a different director. I know everybody's saying, oh, Michael Bay sucks, Michael Bay. Blah, blah, blah. Me, I actually enjoy Michael Bay. Uh, my guilty pleasures are the Transformers movies. I love them. I've loved every single one except, um, uh, Revenge of the Fallen. Uh, that was the weakest one in the series. But, you know, that's the kid in me. You know, it's stupid popcorn fun. Um, but yeah, this, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles out of the sewers, that, this has a different director. Um, I'm going to look at the movie that this guy directed. I, I don't know the guy's name. I forget his name. Um, but he directed Earth to Echo. So, uh, when I saw this trailer, uh, after I saw it, uh, I said, okay, I'm having fun with this trailer. I like it. Um, I, I'm, I'm going to buy the ticket. Uh, this trailer was really cool. It was, it was so nostalgic. Um, you know, Michelangelo, the thing I liked most about it was, uh, you know, they did a close-up shot of, uh, Michelangelo, and you can see it's different, you know, he, he looks different, I think it's gonna be like an evolution from teenagers, 
um, to like adulthood, I think. I think that's what they're going for, kind of. Because Michelangelo, Michelangelo's face looks different. You know, everybody said, oh, he looked like Shrek. And he did. He looked like freaking Shrek with those lips. And, and, and they, they did away with that. He, you know, he still has the nostrils and stuff. And, and the, but he has more of a beak, which, which I like. Um, the, the turtles are more clean, um, as in, for the CGI. Um, they're more colorful, more detailed, which I really, really liked. Um, and they use their weapons, you know. This isn't going to be another uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, secret of the ooze where they don't use their weapon because Mothers of America got pissed off uh, from the first one. You know, this is this is going to be, uh, uh, they're actually using their weapons. They're, they're, Donatello has enhanced his bow staff for electric shock, you know. Uh, Splinter's in there, obviously. They didn't do anything um, with him um, <clears throat> that much. The turtle van's in there. We finally get to see the turtle van. We didn't have that back in the 90s. Um, I saw all... This is how old I am. Uh, I saw all the original Ninja Turtle movies in uh, theaters. Um, and I didn't really make the connection that they were based on comic books till the second or third film, I believe. Um, but yeah, uh, this one, they're actually using uh, their... Um, weapons. So that's really cool. And the turtle van... I know I'm going off crazy and all that stuff, uh, off topic. But yeah, the turtle van, we finally have the turtle van. It's finally here. We didn't have that back in the 90s. Uh, the closest thing we got to a turtle van was a, um, a hippie, uh, uh, Volkswagen, uh, van. <laughs> um, that's about it. But, waffles, you stop that. Bad waffles. But yeah, um, the turtle van looks awesome. Uh, you know, Leonardo, he, he's there, Donatello, Donnie's driving, you know, they're, fa they're, tr they're, they're going against the Foot Clan, the Foot Clan, God damn it, Waffles, you stop that right now, Bad Kitty, Bad Kitty, but yeah, um, another thing I didn't like about the first, uh, Ninja Turtle movie was, uh, that, uh, the Foot Clan had guns, they don't have guns in this, thank God, uh, they're actual ninjas, so that's really cool. It showcased more of the turtles, a lot less Megan Fox. She had like one line in uh, this entire in this entire three like two to three minute. I think two minute. Yeah, two minute trailer. Um, so that was good. Um, but yeah, the turtle van's coming. You know, they're chasing uh, the Foot Clan, and Donatello's like, push the button. Leo's like, okay, which button? There are millions of buttons, and Donnie's like. Screw it. Slams the button down, and then all of a sudden, the sewer, the sewer uh, cover opens up in the front, just like the toy. For those of you guys um, that had the the uh, the animated toy from uh, the '90s from the cartoon show, it does that. It opens up, and then it shoots out sewer uh, covers, manhole covers, just like uh, the toy. God damn it, love us! Uh, almost like the toy did, but the toy, I think, shot out pizzas. Yeah, my cat's going crazy. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but yeah, I think the, the toy, if I remember correctly, shot out pizzas. But yeah, this shoots shoot out manhole covers. Casey Jones and Stephen Amell. I've never watched Arrow. Um, I watched like, well, never. I watched a tiny bit of it. I wasn't really interested in it. Um, but I'll give it a chance, probably. Um, he's playing Casey Jones. Casey Jones masks. You know, it's it's a mask. Um, I I do want the long hair like uh, the first uh, Casey Jones had in the original movie, because uh, to me that was Casey Jones. This one, you know, we'll see his take. Um, and Michelangelo's, I love his line. He's like, "Well, I got one question for you." You know, Megan Fox is there, Casey Jones is there, and he just looks. He's like, "Are you guys a thing?" And I'm like. That was really funny. Um, Shredder, Shredder looks a hundred percent better, a hundred percent better. Um, he's not freaking Mechazoid Shredder, you know, no Super Shredder like we had in Part Two, which was really cool. But uh, yeah, um, they didn't have his mask or anything. Um, it's the guy from Mortal Kombat Legends. It's going to be uh, Shredder. Um, so I'm really interested to see that, and then. Then the freaking money shot. What I've been waiting since Ninja Turtles 2, Secret of the Ooze. We all have. All those old school people. I don't know what the rights were uh, for a rhino and a fucking warthog. I don't, I don't understand that. But 
we finally got Bebop and Rocksteady in this film. Finally! After, like, what? <laughs> 20 years! After 20 fucking, like, 20, about 22, I think Ninja Turtles 2 came out in 92 or 93. About 22, 23 years we've been waiting for a live-action Bebop in Rocksteady. Even though it's not Jim Henson, it's all CGI, which the kids like now these days. You know, the motion capture suits. Um, we finally got Bebop and Rocksteady. They look amazing. It's like the director looked at the concept art from the first film, because we were supposed to get them in the first film, apparently, and said, you know, fuck it, let's just do that. Finally, I think concept art made it to the big screen um, for Bebop and Rocksteady. They looked fantastic, and they talk. You know, Bebop is saying, uh, you know, oh, you're making jokes now. He puts his ponytail up. He has his purple ponytail, and they fucking charge their asses. The Ninja Turtles, man, they charge their asses. I'm like, yes, this is it. This is Ninja Turtles. Not like the first uh, movie where it was Megan Fox and the Ninja, Tur Ninja Turtles. This is Ninja Turtles. And, yeah, over there is Megan Fox. And Casey Jones. Um, I also think that Krang is going to make an appearance um, in this movie. Uh, Baxter Stockman's in it. Um, it's going to be played by different uh, characters. It's going to be played by Tyler Perry, who I really like. So I'm really excited to see it, uh, to see him. Um, I doubt he'll turn into the fly, but uh, it's just really cool that they're going with the comic book. They're doing a mishmash of uh, the comic book and the 90s cartoon and putting it all together and I think in this film it's going to work really well uh, <coughs> excuse me, together I think it's going to be great um, I, and I do think Krang is going to be in this um, in the beginning you see uh, ships come down from a portal let Dimension X, come on now um, so yeah, I think Krang or the race of Krang if they're going to go with the new series is... Uh, going to make an appearance probably at the end or maybe I don't know um, or maybe in the middle because we had so many rumors back in the back in the day guys this is before the internet I'm going to give you guys a little history lesson uh, back in the 90s all we had were rumors that's it no internet we barely we didn't even have internet I don't think 95 96 yeah barely barely had internet no news sites no, no YouTube whatever you know um but yeah, my friend, we were on the YMCA bus, <clears throat> and you know, uh, after Secret of the Ooze came out a couple weeks, uh, we were talking Ninja Turtles, and he's like, oh yeah, part three, you know, it's going to have everybody go together. You know, you got Rocksteady, Bebop, Krang, Shredder, and they're going to verse all the Ninja Turtles. And, you know, me, I was kind of thinking, oh, bullshit, uh, but back in, back in the, those days, you know, if, if a kid told you something, you fucking believed it because, God damn it, it had to be true. It had to be true that the Ninja Turtles were going to face off of uh, face off everybody. And, you know, he said, oh, they're going to have the Technodrome. I'm like, really? Yeah, that would be awesome. Like, of course, I didn't know how they... Of course, we had Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, Japan. Ow! Fuck. But, yeah, um... Yeah, I'm really excited for this film. I'm more excited about this film than uh, Batman v Superman. I've said it. I've said it. <laughs> um, the last trailer for Batman v Superman let me down. I'm still going to go see the movie because it's Batman v Superman. Um, but we'll see how that is. I'm just hoping they didn't tell us the ending. Well, they kind of did. Um, so, yeah, they dropped the ball on that. But anyway, um, also for Comic Book Wednesday... Uh, we also have Dark Knight 3, The Master Race. I finally got a copy tonight, actually, after work. So I was very, very happy. Um, I'm going to read that. Uh, it's basically Frank Miller's continuation or conclusion to the Dark Knight series. If you haven't read Dark Knight Returns, um, get on it. It's a really, really good read. It's like, oh, no, I just watched the movie. No, no, no. It's a really good read, you guys. You'll, you'll probably appreciate the artwork and, and the time and stuff it took to uh, do all that stuff. I have a lot of notifications. <laughs> yes, you do. Okay. Um, so, yeah, uh, I'm going to read that. And then today, uh, we finally got the trailer. Oh, God, this is going on for a long time. Uh, we finally got the trailer 
to X-Men Apocalypse. I already saw the trailer at Comic-Con. I loved it. I loved Apocalypse's look. Um, this one, they didn't change his voice. I don't think they're going to change his voice. I thought they would by this trailer because Brian Singer said, you know, there's more tweaking to do and all this stuff. Um, yeah, they're not going to change his voice. I personally like his voice, you know. It's not 100% accurate Apocalypse, guys. You know, it's not going to be like Thanos. They took some liberties. Um, but it's about 80, 85% like the comic. Um, my thing is this, with villains and characters and stuff. You know, you could tweak them, you know, because a comic book is a different medium than a movie. Um, Apocalypse, he's one of my favorite villains. Um, my thing is... You can tweak him a little bit, but just remember to have his core elements um, in uh, when you're playing the character. You know, his 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 uh, survival of the fittest. You know, call of the weak and all that stuff. You know, um, making a new world. Uh, you know, um, but yeah, I think they did it in this one. Uh, this trailer. You know, he's not purple. He's not Ivan News. Uh, he's actually blue and gray, and he has little, uh, things right here. They're not, con they're not connected to his mouth, but they're really close. I guess they're kind of connected, I don't know, but yeah, he has it right there. You know, he has, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, um, oh, shit, the piping and stuff. So that's on, that's on his arm and stuff. So I'm looking really forward to, to X-Men Apocalypse. Um, but first I see Deadpool, because Deadpool is awesome. And Ryan Reynolds liked my tweet. Anyway, so yeah. Um, let me know what you guys think. Comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, all that. So yeah. Anyway, guys, take care. Sorry it's been long. Uh, I'm going to go make something to eat. So bye-bye. Take care. Bye.